Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, many of my Muslim viewers asked me to react to the ring composition by Merciful Servant. This is the very first time that I'm doing a reaction to a religious video. Faith, God is of utmost importance to me. Therefore, I want to be very, very careful by discussing such topics openly. I usually do my research, my studying by myself. Nevertheless, I was very impressed with the structure of the Quran. And this is why you guys reached out to me. I would have watched this video either way. So let's watch it together. Meow. Meow. The arrangement of the Qur'an is one of many reasons why Muslims believe that it could only have come from God. In fact, modern research has discovered a remarkable structure in the Qur'an known as ring composition. Okay. To demonstrate this, let's analyze the second chapter of the Qur'an known as Al-Baqarah, the cow. This chapter consists of a total of 286 verses. The entire chapter can be divided into nine groups based on theme. The first group of verses talk about faith and unbelief. This mirrors the theme of the last group of verses. The second group covers God's creation and knowledge. This again mirrors the second to the last group's theme. Mm. The third group discusses the law given to the Israelites, which mirrors the giving of law to the Muslims in the seventh group. The fourth group relates to the test of Abraham, a mirror of the test of Muslims in the sixth group. The middle group, the fifth group, is the central theme of the entire chapter, the change in direction of the Muslim prayer. Interesting. We have made you believers a middle nation, so that you may bear witness to the truth before others. We only made the direction the one you used to face in order to distinguish those who follow the messenger from those who turn on their heels. Mm -hmm. This turning point was the change in direction of the daily prayers from Jerusalem to Mecca, which represented a big test for the believers. We find the mention of this important turning point in exactly the middle of the chapter, the 143rd verse. Moreover, this verse even contains the word middle. I have to say this is very, very impressive to me, especially if we think about that the Quran has been recited, memorized by Muslims over millennia. The structure itself must have helped the Muslims memorizing it over those years. Giant ring Makes sense. As you can see, ring composition is structured as a sort of circle with the central meaning placed at the center. You can think of it in terms of a mirror. So ring composition is the equivalent of putting a mirror in the middle. What is mentioned in the first half will be reflected in the second half. That's amazing. Things can be taken a step further. If we examine these nine groups, we find that they each contain sub-ring compositions. So what we have is rings within rings. For example, here is the eighth group with the theme of God's creation and knowledge. We can see that the beginning and the end both have the themes of giving and charity, and the central theme of God's power and knowledge is placed in the middle. Things can be taken further still. This subring contains yet another ring within itself. This is the 255th verse known as Ayat al-Kursi, the verse of the throne. Just like the chapter which contains it, the verse of the throne can be divided into nine groups based on theme. The first and ninth parts each mention God's personal names. The second and eighth parts both state that God never tires. The third and seventh parts describe that God owns everything in the heavens and the earth. The fourth and sixth parts make it clear that God has total control over us and we are dependent on him. Notice that the middle of this verse mentions before and after, which could be yet another allusion to the mirroring of ring composition. It's worth highlighting that not- This absolutely cannot be coincidence. The verse of the throne can be by chance. It's own ring composition, but it is also positioned wow. as a sub-ring within two larger rings, a concentric ring composition. We can see that this chapter of the Quran is marvelously designed, being precisely and tightly arranged according to the principles of ring composition. This precision in arrangement is in fact astonishing when we consider the timing of the revelation of these verses. To appreciate this, let's consider the analogy True. of building construction. We have to take into account that it took decades to create the Quran. If we think then about this ring structure, we of course have to assume that it came from the same exact source. It is always the same. This reminds me of the surah, Allah's pattern is never changing. Imagine you had the task Powerful. of building a house. Rather than waiting until you receive all of the materials and then drawing up a carefully thought out design plan, you instead decide to proceed without complete knowledge of the constituent parts, constructing it piecemeal, adding to it bit by bit as and when you receive the individual materials. What are the chances that this approach will result in a well-constructed house? Unlike an organized approach where each part is placed in its best possible position according to a design plan, instead you have a situation where it seems each part is placed arbitrarily, depending on the order in which the parts were received. 
In such circumstances, you would most likely end up with a very poorly designed house, Probably. liable to collapse at any time. It is highly unlikely, perhaps even impossible, that this disorganized approach would end up with the same stunningly designed house as an organized approach. Yep. Yet this is exactly what we find with the Quran structure. The builder in our example is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The house that he began to build since its first verses were revealed to him is the Quran. The rooms and bricks in our construction example are its chapters and verses. He can never have a design plan in place for the Quran because the revelation of many of its verses depended on events that were out of his control, such as the social- That is exactly what I just mentioned. It took decades of revelation, but nevertheless, the pattern wasn't changing. Developments and challenges. The plan was already there. He faced throughout his prophethood. For example, Believers would come up to him and question him on a particular matter, or his enemies would challenge him. The responses in the form of revelation would then descend on him, addressing the specific situation that he was facing. How could Muhammad have devised such an intricate plan when he could not predict the events that would dictate the revelation of verses? Yeah. Such an arrangement would have to be planned in advance. But this was not possible due to these events being out of his control. What this demonstrates is that the author was someone who could predict the future. Yeah, this is basically determinism. Possessing knowledge of the unseen is a quality of God, not human beings. Yep. Some critics may point out that books prior to the Quran had this literary style and therefore we cannot use this as an evidence for the Quran's divine origin. However, comparing the Quran to other books is like comparing night and day for many reasons. Firstly, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not a poet nor did he have any literary reputation. In fact, like many people at the time, he could not read or write. That's what made reading the Quran for me even more mind-boggling because I knew that Muhammad couldn't read or write. So how could he come up with such verses? Assume that the Quran is arranged chronologically, starting with the first revealed verse and now this on top. ending with the final revealed verse. This is the order in which books are typically written, in a logical sequence, starting with the beginning, then the middle, and finally the end. Yeah. But the way the Quran was composed is unlike any other book. Al-Baqarah, the chapter of the Qur'an that we have covered, was not revealed starting with verse 1, followed by verse 2, then 3, and so on. Rather, its verses were revealed out of sequence, over a span of many years, and interspaced with the revelation of verses from other chapters. The Qur'an's unusual manner of revelation makes implementing ring composition much more difficult than conventional books. Thirdly, conventional books follow an editorial process by undergoing multiple stages of editing, which allows the author to gradually refine the text over time. However, the Qur'an did not undergo an editorial process. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him would place the verses in their positions as soon as they were revealed to him. With each new verse, he would not go off and review what had been previously revealed to see where he can position them in order to maintain a ring structure. Rather, spontaneous revelation was immediately followed by the placement of the verse, its position fixed. <laughs> When we look at the history of the Qur'an's compilation, there is not a single instance of a verse being moved around in order to make it fit a ring composition. Fourthly, achieving ring composition in conventional books is much more feasible as the author has complete control over the content. Sure. Of course, the author could create an outline, he could structure the book to his liking. Plan their structure ahead of time. Yeah. As we've already seen with the Qur'an, its content was circumstantial as it was tied to events that were out of the control of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and therefore he could not plan a structure ahead of time. No chance. Only if the Qur'an would have been edited afterwards, which it wasn't. First revealed as an oral recitation, not in written This is mind-blowing, man. With written books, you can easily plan a structure because you can quickly and conveniently refer back to what you have written previously. True. But with the recited text like the Quran, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would have had to rely on his memory in order to recall what was previously revealed. A much greater challenge. In light of all these difficult circumstances, wouldn't you expect the Quran's structure to be jumbled? What we find, against all odds, however, is that the Quran contains a remarkably sophisticated structure. The circumstances of the Quran are This is really mind blowing to me yet again and it explains the feeling that I got when I was reading the Quran because I couldn't let go of the feeling that it had a very sophisticated organization whilst reading the Quran I didn't know what it was now this video explained it to me Relation together Amazing. With its precision and harmony represent a compelling argument for its divine origin it does. Your companion is neither astray nor being misled nor does he say anything of his own desire. It is no less than inspiration sent down to him. He was taught by one mighty in power. Alright guys, and this is it for my first reaction to a religious video. Please let me know in the comment section below if you like this type of video. If so, I will continue. If not, no worries, I will do my research by myself. However, in this case, we have many, many YouTube videos that we could watch together. Please let me know in the comment section if you like this format. Alright guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. Alright guys, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.